ahead and move on to the next school and maybe, um, you know, add Temecula Valley High School at the end whenever they're ready. Sure. Well, good morning, everyone. I am Holly Wilson. I'm the high school principal at Linfield Christian School. And I have the pleasure of filling in for Sally when she is out of town. And so when she asked me, I'm like, uh, Zoom? I don't think so. Um, but she said Brooke had everything under control. So we're, we're good to start. Um, so good morning, um, welcome to the Temecula Valley Chamber of Commerce Student of the Month for October. And um, before we get started, a couple things um, remind you of our Zoom etiquette, which our students are excellent at. Um, the adults still seem to struggle a bit with it. But remember, um, during the meeting, if you're not speaking, to please make sure you are on mute and this will help to eliminate any background noise. Um, if you're moving around a lot, if you're walking around outside, if you turn your camera off, that will be helpful until you're settled. Um, it's just less distracting. I'm not sure if there's somebody here from Student Venture. I knew that Monty was not going to be able to be here. Um, if you're here representing Student Venture, can you just say hello? Okay, well then I'll open us in prayer. Um, and then Jody McClay, our superintendent, she's going to lead us in the pledge. So we're still going to uh, pretend like we're all together at Sizzler and Murrieta. Um, and so I'll open us in a word of prayer and then we'll follow with the pledge by Jody McClay and we'll stand for the pledge and turn your, all of your mics on when we do the pledge. It sounds pretty crazy, but um, it's fun to hear all of your voices. So let, uh, let me open in prayer and we'll get started with our program this morning. So Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for our students that um, we're able to recognize that do such a fabulous job every day and make our schools what they are. Thank you for the sponsors, um, the health that we have to be here. And Lord, I um, pray that you be with all of the technical issues that happen with Zoom, that you would um, just protect it and bless this time. Um, we ask this in Christ's name. Amen. All right, Jody. All right. If you would please unmute, unmute your microphone. You want to turn off your video you can so you can stand either way i think i'm in i pledge allegiance to the flag of the united states of america and to the republic for which it stands one nation under god indivisible with liberty and justice for all that's great Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. There's just something about hearing so many different voices. It's, it's just really wonderful. So students and families, those of you new to our um, student of the month, we are celebrating 29 years uh, of this celebration and honoring students. So um, the mission statement, parents, this is how your student was chosen. So the mission statement for the Temecula Valley Chamber of Commerce is the student of the month program is a local high school recognition program that is um, supported by the community to acknowledge and honor college, vocational, trade school bound students who are being honored for their character, their love of learning, their commitment to academics, participation in athletics, school activities, community service, or their ability to persevere and overcome difficult life circumstances in a setting that honors God, country, family, community, and free enterprise. So students, congratulations on being recognized by your schools and especially in this climate, you probably um, 
have no idea how much you stand out to be chosen in a setting that we're all experiencing right now. So congratulations, students. Well done on that. So to begin our welcome from the Temecula Valley Chamber of Commerce, our board member and State Farm Insurance Agency is Julie No. Julie. I'm not sure Julie was able to hop on this morning. I don't know if uh, maybe Al Rubio could fill in. Al. Thank you. Sure. Hi. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. My, my name is Al Rubio. I'm the chairman of the board of the Temecula Valley Chamber of Commerce. Pleased to see you here. I'm also uh, we're sponsored DCH Auto Group. You know, students, I just want you to know how special this is. You know, I'm sorry that we're not able to see you in person, but it still feels really good. And I'm so proud of all of you, your achievements. Some of you have overcome, you know, things that, that uh, many people will never see. So uh, you've had to mature quickly and here you are. And I'm sure this is the, the, the very first of many recognitions that, that will follow. Uh, we know that you're gonna be successful and we just hope that uh, when you finish college and you start your careers, you'll maybe have one here in Temecula. If not, hopefully you'll come back and, and see us and make us proud. So congratulations to all of the students of the month. Congratulations to uh, the uh, uh, sponsors and, and uh, BMW management, Sally, for putting this on, and Brooke, for you always, you're, you're all, always so organized. And Holly, thank you for filling in. So, and by the way, congratulations, parents and educators as well. Thank you so much and, and God bless and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you, Al. All right, we're gonna start with our students, why we are here, our ability to recognize you at this time. So let me remind you of our format. So students, you have five minutes. I really should say teachers, you have one minute, but students, you have five minutes. The principal will introduce you, and then you'll introduce your parents and your sponsoring teacher, and then um, followed by you, your sponsoring teacher has a minute to talk to you about you. I know it's really hard teachers to sum it up in a minute, but you can do it. And then following the teacher, the parent will speak, one parent for a minute. And then the principal will introduce the next school. So I look forward to hearing your stories. They're always so inspiring. And so we'll begin with Linfield Christian School. I am Holly Wilson, the principal there. And our student of the month is Deidre Gorian. And so Deidre, I don't know if you know this, but I remember your freshman year, our open house, and I purposefully walked the halls looking for you and your family because I had heard so much about this darling freshman girl who was incredible. So um, I got to meet you your freshman year, your parents that were um, there. And Deidre, you have not um, disappointed in any way to all of the praises that people were saying about you. Um, you are an exemplary student. You are consistently um, knocking it out of the park in everything you do. But what's so endearing is that when you speak, everybody listens. It's almost that E.F. Hutton effect that you have because you're such a deep thinker. You have thought things through and you always have something interesting and probably even a different aspect than most students. Um, but you're so unassuming and you always have a bright smile for everyone. So we are so thankful that you are Linfield's October Student of the Month. Thank you for what you have done and for making our school a better place every day, Deidre. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Ms. Wilson. 
Hello, I'm Deidre Gorian. I'm from Linfield Christian. I really want to thank the Chamber of Commerce and for all the sponsors today for hosting this call and everyone who set this up. I know it may not be ideal since we're in Zoom rather than in person at breakfast, but I'm super thankful for this opportunity and to be recognized today. Also, congratulations to all the other award recipients. It's an honor to be celebrated alongside you guys. So these are my parents, Shauna and Chuck Gorian. My mother is a children's book author and my father's an attorney. And I'm super thankful for them and all the support they give me every single day throughout my life, throughout high school and especially academics. Um, my guest teacher today is Mr. Mitchell. We call him TJ. He's my biomedical science teacher and I've had him all four years of high school as he teaches the four year career, career oriented biomedical academy. He's a great teacher who inspires me every day and has taught me so many skills that I will need in my future career, including like critical thinking and designing your own experiment. And he is a big reason why I'm greatly interested in science. My dream school after I graduate high school is Stanford University, where I'd like to major in some form of bioscience. I'm especially interested in biochemistry and the biomedical field, and I also plan to pursue a career as a researcher in this field after I graduate, hopefully getting some experience in internships before I graduate college. Currently at school, I'm taking four AP classes and two honors, and it's definitely a great workload, but I'm super interested in my classes, especially my AP biology course and my elective biomedical innovations. I run on Linfield's varsity cross country team, which is definitely a time consuming sport, requires a ton of dedication, but we set high goals for ourselves and we train really hard to achieve them. I trained every day over summer in preparation for a season that was pushed back to January. And I currently attend practice every day either before or after school. I'm a member of my school's honor society, CSF, NHS, NEHS, and NSHS. And I'm a part of various clubs, including the Beach Cleanup Crew and the Interact Club. The most significant life lesson that I'll take with me to college is one that I've learned fairly recently, and I'm pretty sure we can all attest to it, because life has been turned upside down all across the world lately, especially the past year but it's to appreciate the opportunities that I've been granted, to attend an amazing school like Linfield and to live in a town like Temecula. Um, I'm lucky to know, enough to be back in a modified version of school at Linfield, like social distancing, even though we can't technically be in person completely. But the majority of kids across America and the world don't have this opportunity or the direct interaction with their teachers and their peers. So this motivates me to not take school for granted, even though it can become tedious and stressful from assignment to assignment. But soon enough, we'll have graduated and be off to college. And hopefully, we will be in person. But I've learned to put, be grateful for the work I put in today, because I know one day it will pay off. And I've been so lucky to have such great teachers who truly care about my success and a great learning environment that will prepare me for my future. Thank you. All right, so I guess that means I'm up. Okay, all right, I'm uh, John Mitchell, teacher at Linfield, been here for 17 years. Um, I can probably say the same thing all the other teachers are gonna say about their students. Uh, Deidre is a student who makes my job easy because of her dedication to academics and just a really healthy view on the world and everything that is going on around her and the way that she self manages everything that she does. So students like Deidre and all the students that we're gonna to see today, Deidre, you guys are blessings to us as teachers and we're so thankful to have a student like you in our class. Uh, to you, Mr. and Mrs. Gorian, uh, Proverbs 22.6 says, train a child in the way they should go when they grow old, they will not part from it. Deidre, you're an athlete. You know what it means to train. You already mentioned how many hours it takes to uh, train for cross country and track and field and soccer, all of which your teams have finished top marks, including CIF championships. That doesn't come from just being lazy and just having it happen. It comes from hard work. Your coach gives you something to do to train. Your parents have given you something to train but ultimately it's been up to you to take that training and make use of it. And you have done so absolutely wonderful. Uh, First Corinthians 9, uh, 9, 24 says, do you not know that those who run in a race run, but only one receives a prize run in such a way that you may obtain the prize. And Deidre, you have, you have absolutely done that in all aspects of your life. Student of the month is about character, academics, athletics, clubs, um, and what the world needs a little bit more, Deidre, is something else that you also give, which is love. 
Um, love is patient, it's kind, it does not envy, it does not parade itself, it's not puffed up, it does not behave rudely, it does not speak on its own, it does not provoke or think evil, it does not rejoice in others' failures, it rejoices in truth. It bears all things, it believes all things, it hopes all things, love never fails. In the classroom, Deidre, you conduct yourself in a character that expresses love through patience towards your peers, through lifting up others. You, you constantly get top marks and your students or your classmates reflect that in class. They'll make comments of, oh yeah, of course, Tidra got 100%. But you never boast about that. You take it very humbly. You are always gracious and thankful. You say thank you more than any student that I know of. So Mr. and Mrs. Gorian, you have trained your daughter well, but most of all, Deidre, you have received that training and you have employed it wonderfully. So congratulations, you are very deserving of this award. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Well, what can you say? Um, Deidre is a perfect example of the apple falling very, very fall from, far from the paternal tree. <laughs> Everything she does is excellent. Everything she does, she succeeds at. She's compassionate, hardworking. She is very competitive. I don't think a family member has won a card game or a board game <laughs> since maybe she was in the third or fourth grade. She's a great daughter, a great sister, a classmate, and teammate. Um, we're very proud of you, and we're very excited for what the future holds. Uh, we also want to congratulate all the other students who have won this award. And uh, we also want to give a special thank you to Linfield Christian. Um, you've liberated our kids from our homes by finding a safe alternative workaround for what's these challenging times. Um, and it's very, very important to the kids. And I just wanted to, to give a shout out there. And finally, I'd like to thank the Temecula Chamber of Commerce for all you do and for acknowledging these great students and rewarding them for being that and great citizens of this great city of Temecula. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. All right, from Temecula Valley High School, the principal, Mr. Alan Williams. Holly, good morning and uh, good morning to everyone. What a wonderful start, Linfield. Congratulations, Deidre. I was very excited to uh, see Mr. Ture, one of our science teacher, Teachers nominate uh, David Harris as our student of the month. Um, he was an absolutely worthy candidate and he was selected for good reason. David has a 4.5 GPA. Uh, when he finishes here at Temecula Valley, he will have taken 20 AP exams. Um, he's a true scholar. When I think about Temecula Valley and us being a go bear school, which is that we're, we're brave, we're engaged, aware, resilient, and service-minded. What really pops out um, from those core values is this engagement. Um, he loves to be part of the academic community. There's just a couple uh, quotes that I, that I wrote down as I spoke and, and talked with David, and he said this, and this really reflects his community values, he said, Doing something fun is no fun unless you are doing it with others. And then he also said, with the community, it makes everything better. And as I talked about David, you also get that real sense of service mindedness and that he supports um, his classmates. He helps them with math and with science. And uh, it's always nice to hear too, after the tutoring's done, he shared with me, then they shoot hoops. So they go and play some basketball. And it's just indicative of who David is. We're so proud of what he's done here at Temecula Valley. Um, just hearing his love of mathematics when he, when he says, I ask him, why do you like math so much? He said, it just really makes sense to me. And just that um, kind of that calling towards the field is what I heard in his voice. So that makes me very excited, not only for him and our school, but also for our nation. So uh, with much enthusiasm, we wanna recognize David as Temecula Valley High School's Student of the Month. David. Thank you, Mr. Williams. Uh, 
thank you all for recognizing me. I'm super grateful for this opportunity. And thank you to Mr. Ture for everything. Um, Mr. Ture uh, was my chemistry teacher and AP chemistry teacher during my ninth and 10th grade years. And during that time, I was going through a period of change, growth, and it, it was all new. And Mr. Ture massively helped me turn into the man I am today. And I'm eternally grateful. Um, my parents, and specifically my dad is a teacher, and my mother is a stay at home. Uh, my parents have played a major role in my success, and I'd also like to thank them, even if they're not here yet. Um, I know a good person is made by a good community, so my accomplishments are not my own, but the sum of the people that have poured into me. Um, my name is David. If you didn't already know, I can. I'm taking 10 AP classes at the moment, and six of them are self-study, and I'm taking two dual classes. Um, I'm the president of the math club, chess club, and vice president of the um, Science Olympiad club. These clubs have had a major impact on who I am, and i like to thank all the people, even though they're not here, that they have made a big impact on my life. The strive to keep going comes from a community, and and without them, I, I would be nothing. I cannot emphasize it enough. With that said, I would really, sorry, parents are over there. With that said, I'm very grateful for all the sponsors for hearing me out today. And I am also very grateful that I have the opportunity to keep going forward. And thank you for my opportunities or for my efforts to be recognized. And that's all I have. Mr. Ture, you're up. Okay, hey. Um, yeah, Dave, you almost made me cry if I was capable of doing such a thing. Uh, you know, Dave and I have, um, we were, I was Dave's teacher for two years. He's a, just a great kid. Um, you know, I, I notice everyone's calling him David, but that's because they don't know him the way that I do. He's Dave to me and always will be even though I don't know if he likes that or not, but that, that's who he is. Um, you know, I could say any number of things about Dave, but I think two words sum Dave up, and that's awesome and amazing. Uh, anything he does is he does full. He doesn't just do academics. Um, he's got lots of different extracurriculars and uh, and he used to do a lot of gymnastics. He won't, he won't probably tell you that, but he can probably walk around his entire house on his hands. Um, so, I mean, he's, he's just so, he's so well-rounded. He's just an awesome kid. And, and uh, I don't know, I think he's a little premature in trying to call himself a man, but whatever. Um, You'd be correct. But, yeah, but the man that he's growing into is, is amazing. And uh, I'm just happy to be a part of that small part a small part and I'm, and I'm also happy that Ann just screwed up. You're great, Dave. Thank you, Mr. Craig. It means a lot. Um, I'm going to go try and fetch one of my parents. <laughs> so Holly, maybe we could wait just a moment here. That's okay. Of course. Everything's a bit different in the world of Zoom. I was going to say good morning to our board president, Mrs. Hinkson, who survived a marathon meeting on Tuesday night. So this has got to be fun. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and certainly not the only one in recent times. All right, I've managed to grab a parent. <laughs> Hello, good morning. <laughs> good morning, Mr. Harris. Um, well, we've given, there's an opportunity to share a few words about your son. Oh my gosh, where would I begin? 
Well, let's keep it. I'll just try to keep it short. He's a good kid. <laughs> We're really proud of him. He, um, he's a little bit of an overachiever, obviously. So I'm sure he gets it from his mom. <laughs> um, he's been kind of on this, uh, this path to getting his college done. We've been talking actually a teacher as well. And so he, uh, from the time that he's been really little, he's been thinking about where he's going to go to college, but he still hasn't decided. Um, he's always talking about going to, you know, Stanford or something. So, um, what a great opportunity, um, for him, for his hard work. And I just want to say thank you guys for acknowledging his efforts. And he's, uh, ever since he's been little doing gymnastics and all this kind of things, he's, he's always excelled. I, um, Let's see, as of late, he was doing jujitsu with me uh, down in uh, uh, in Temecula over here, and he was one of the the best uh, the best jujitsu people for his age, and um, just uh, excels in pretty much everything he does. So, uh, but um, I'm just really thankful for. So I, I actually teach over in the Paris district, and just very thankful for the education he's getting over here. So very very thankful. Thank you. All right, we'll continue to move the program forward with Mr. Dignan, principal of Rancho Vista High School. Good morning and uh, congratulations to, to Deidre and David. Your stories are, are inspiring and you are certainly overachieving and uh, look forward to all the great things you're going to do. Uh, I have the, the distinct privilege of uh, introducing Christian Sherbandi as our student of the month at Rancho Vista High School. Uh, Christian is the first to tell you that he hasn't always made the best decisions in his educational career. And in, because of that, he's ended up at our continuation school. But since he's been here, he has been stellar. And he epitomizes something we've talked a lot about with our students this year, which is grit. Um, he, has, he has kept his nose to the grindstone. He's part of our leadership team um, here on, on campus and is trying to make the Zoom world better for everybody. Uh, Christian is a military brat. He will tell you they bounced around quite a bit, um, and that made it challenging for him, I'm sure. In his current situation, uh, he is living with his mom, who's a single mom, and has three younger siblings. So she's at work all day, and Christian is home monitoring Zoom for his three siblings um, and making sure that he's helping out with them. And then he goes out at night and works at Little Caesars. So he is a, a, a talented young man who's got a really bright future because he's learned to come overcome obstacles. Al Rubio, shout out to you because he tells me he wants to be an auto mechanic. So we're going to, uh, we're going to help him pursue those dreams. So without further ado, Christian Sherbandi. How y'all doing today? It's a gloomy morning. Um, thank you for recognizing me as Center of the Month. I didn't know this was a thing and uh, <laughs> I'm nervous, <laughs> but um, I'm here with my mom, Christy Sherbondi. Uh, there's my aunt, Michelle Schrader, and then my grandma, uh, Lisa Jacobson, and then uh, family friend, Brandon uh, Gaminski. Uh, he will be my uh, parent family that will be speaking on me today. He was my wrestling coach and very close friend due to his son. And he became the closest I have to a father. Um, I have grew up with ADHD and uh, severe depression. I uh, didn't take school seriously up until this year because um, I never wanted anything to do with school. I wanted to be a WWE wrestler all the way up until uh, seventh grade. So I didn't think I needed school. And then uh, I also believed in the high school movies where uh, the, the football star didn't, the teachers would just give them A's and everything like that. I thought high school would just be like that. And, and um, I can tell you when it's not like that at all. So as soon as I started failing my classes, uh, I basically gave up and uh, there was nothing to it. No one really held me accountable. I 
talk to my counselors about every week. I talk to my mom every week about my grades and I just wouldn't hold myself accountable up to my grades. And uh, up until senior year, um, I have a uh, oh, junior year, my bad. Um, I started changing my act around my second semester when I met uh, my girlfriend, Angelina uh, Alarcon. Uh, she's currently taking two AP classes. She's very smart, very loving woman. Uh, she helps me a lot. Um, but uh, yeah, overall, just, um, um, man, I'm speechless. I can't really. <laughs> Um, yeah, and, uh, the, yeah, and then, uh, I'm, uh, Mr. G, Mr. Gonzalez will be my, uh, my teacher that will be speaking for today. Awesome job, Christian. You did great. Uh, I'd like to take a moment to congratulate everyone being recognized today and their parents and administrators and teachers. I think this program is really an exceptional program. I've had the pleasure of actually going to the Sizzler and eating the delicious breakfast that's provided and witnessing the live version. And uh, I, I know that you guys are missing out in the Zoom, but I can almost smell the bacon and uh, I can definitely feel the spirit of what this meeting is all about. And uh, Christian is an exceptional, exceptional student, and I'm really grateful to have had the opportunity to meet him. Uh, he's cool, he's great, he's real, um, and he's also very intelligent and gifted in many ways. He's a fine athlete. Uh, I have sons uh, that uh, attend CHAP, and he's a gifted wrestler, and they've told me legends of Sherbandi. And he's also a great football player. And I was stunned because I'm an art teacher and I teach art, and uh, he's also a great artist. And so he was able to just do whatever I assigned with a great attitude, a positive role model, and a good influence on the others there. So I don't wanna to take too much time. I know there's a lot of us, but uh, Christian is very well deserving of this. And so I applaud and congratulate his family and friends. Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm, I'm Brandon. Um, can you all hear me? All right. Um, yeah, uh, like Christian said, uh, he's uh, one of my son's best friends. And, and when my son first uh, walked over with Christian, uh, I saw this wild eyed child standing in my living room. Uh, reminded me a lot of how I used to be. And uh, man, if over the last year I haven't just watched this kid hit his stride and really find it. And he is one of the hard, most hardworking, loving, giving kid. Anytime somebody in our neighborhood needs something, Christian is always the first one at their front door offering to help. Um, the way he takes care of his family and the way that he takes care of, of even my children, because I also have four, um, and the way he is with them, it's just, it's just really special. And he's a, he's a really special young man. And I am just so grateful to have had the opportunity. Uh, sorry, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> uh, to, to just watch him grow into what he is now. And I, I'm just so blessed to be able to be a part of it and watch it from the outside and uh, also congratulations to all the other students on here um you, you all work really hard and you deserve it so congratulations and christian keep up the good work bud i'm so proud of you <laughs> all right congratulations christian uh next i have the privilege of also serving as the principal at susan h nelson school uh independent study program here in temecula and this month's student of the month is Riley Recklich. Uh, Riley is also a military brat. Um, and I had the pleasure of, of speaking with her earlier this week and talking about some of her ambitions and what she wants to do in the future. Uh, prior to my current gig, I spent nine years as an elementary school principal. So it was very close to my heart when Riley told me she wants to be an elementary school teacher. And I have no doubt that she will excel at that and will uh, represent us all very well. I just hope we can keep her in the Temecula area because uh, she's going to be a rock star. So Riley Recklich. Hello, I'm Riley Recklich and this is my dad, Dan. He's in the U.S. Navy. Um, he's been in the Navy for 20 years now, so it's, it's been a difficult ride being 
one of four siblings going through the Navy and moving and moving and schools and new people and getting a job. It's been difficult, but I've continued to excel in my schoolwork and keep up my grades. And I've had the honor to join the Susan H. Nelson School program last year in August due to difficulties in public school, but everyone's welcomed me with open arms, especially my uh, AP Lang teacher and history teacher, Miss Courtney Maynard, which will be representing me today. Um, my ambitions to be an elementary school teacher are so strong due to having such young siblings and babysitting and keeping watch over them through the years. And my mom's a stay at home mom and she watches babies all day. So it's definitely something that I strive to be. And I've played soccer my whole life which has definitely been time consuming for sure, playing school ball and outside school ball, which is pretty much almost 48 hours a week, I feel like combined and it's a lot, but I've continued to keep on going with school and get those A's and B's and get as much as I can. And I give back a lot to my community as well. I do a lot of community service with PetSmart. They have a cat volunteering thing and they, they've helped me a lot too, learn, like learning priorities and learning to be on time and to be organized because that's a responsibility that I'm given at such a young age to watch over animals that are not mine. So I feel like I've learned a lot through the years and I'm so grateful for everyone else that has recognized me for this honor and everyone else that has received this honor. Congratulations to you guys. Hi hey everyone, I'm Tori Maynard and I'm excited to represent Riley and when I to represent Riley, I really bring the ideas of all of our teachers from my field advantage um, and how um, we all kind of think of Riley and recognize what a great student is and a great person. Um, she's college prepared and she started playing uh, competitive soccer at South Kids High School in Port Richard, Washington. Um, she now played in the adult soccer league and um, she also works and uh, she's at volunteers and despite all of this she's really navigated our program with an impressive amount of energy and discipline. Um, she's consistently described by her teachers as diligent, reliable, hardworking, conscientious, motivated to do well. Um, she has a great deal of music motivation. She's light, friendly, considerate. She's willing to invest the extra effort that it takes to grow and learn. She's friendly and greets you with a smile and is very articulate. So she really embodies what we look for in an independent learner and um, we are excited to celebrate her. So thank you so much. Congratulations, Riley. Uh, all right, so I have the distinct pleasure of introducing the incomparable, talented principal at Great Oak High School, Coach Amy Ricken. Thank you, Mr. Dignan. There might be some condescension in that. We've known each other for what, 19 years, I think. We started off as volleyball, English teacher, basketball, and science teacher at Temecula Valley many years ago. We shared a gym, as I recall. We did. Sometimes we fought over the gym. It was all good. Title IX, baby. Yes, ma'am. Uh, good morning to everyone. Thank you so much. On behalf of Great Oak High School, I would just want to say shout out to Brooke, who always makes this so smooth and easy for us and has kept what is special about our Sizzler uh, student of the month breakfast special even in this online platform and I know that's not easy and I think I saw Emily somewhere I know you guys are always working hard behind the scenes and in all seriousness Holly we all appreciate you whenever you step in to 
Sally's shoes because we know how big those shoes are for uh, such a petite statured woman. Uh, she's intimidating. I know I couldn't do it. Uh, congratulations to all our other students. Um, amazing stories. It's uh, it's so so phenomenal to me how we always have similar trends with students, and it seems like every month there's almost some you know um, traits that trans transfer across campus across our town, and I think that's very much true of our student of the month. We couldn't be more proud at Great Oak of Evan Zhao, who's here with his father uh, this morning on screen and. For Evan and I, we got to talk for about 20, I think 25 minutes the other day. And the thing that I was thinking most about Evan, who much like our other students here is an incredible student, uh, both on paper, uh, but also just with all those intangibles. Um, the academic piece I could talk about, but it's really the overachiever part of him. Um, and he overachieves in everything. It, it's the natural intelligence and, you know, the pursuit of courses of rigor. He's a full IB diploma student, um, which, you know, for all of our AP and for Evan, who's an IB students, it's been so incredibly difficult if you're an overachiever, if you have perfectionist tendencies in this online platform. And our students are so uh, yearning for that in-person connection that helps them often just create some balance in their life because what happens with overachievers, as we know, they'll sit in front of this computer screen from 6.30 a.m. until midnight every night. And, you know, it's really always that in-person, on-campus, you know, connection that they have with peers that drags them away from the intensity of that learning. Um, and so I know Evan uh, is struggling with that because uh, he's a people person and he enjoys that social interaction. And more importantly, I think his peers rely on him for that social interaction. He pulls other people into conversation and learning, not just because he wants to achieve, but because he genuinely appreciates authentic learning. Um, and so, you know, he's such a kind young man uh, he's one of those ones that you hope your own kids grow up to be like, uh, but more importantly, think about the impact and the impression he's left on our teachers, who I think rely on his friendly face every day in online learning to keep them going uh, when it's hard. Um, but also his peers look to him on that Brady Bunch screen every day and they know if Evan can keep doing this, we can keep doing this too. So Evan, I want you to know, um, we all need you around here and we appreciate you. And I know we couldn't do it without you, but I know it's hard and I wanna encourage you to keep going because others are looking at you and, and they know if Evan's got this, they got this too for as long as this online thing lasts. So congratulations as Great Oak Student of the Month, Evan. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Ricken, for that very extensive introduction. You really took everything I was gonna say right out of my mouth. Um, I really just want to take a moment to appreciate everybody who's just taken time out of their day to just sit in front of this screen and to appreciate all the students. I know the students had to uh, skip their first period. I understand that's really hard depending on what your classes are. And just to have the teachers take time out of their day as well, I really want to thank every uh, single one of you for that. And just everybody else who's here, family members, I really want to just thank you for coming in, supporting your children or just supporting uh, the nominees from each of, the, uh, each of their respective schools. Um, this is my father. Uh, <laughs> uh, it truly is an honor to be his son. I mean, he's really raised me under an iron fist. <laughs> and I think it's, I'm truly grateful to have grown up in such a tough environment because it teaches me perseverance. And um, my teacher today, uh, or sorry, I am super nervous right now. I understand everybody else has the jitters, but this is just another level for me. Um, um, my nominating teacher today is Mrs. Claybaugh. Um, I had her sophomore, freshman and sophomore year for Algebra 2 Plus and Accelerated Precalculus. And I just, it truly was a privilege to study under her. She's just such an approachable person in general. And even in, in junior year before the pandemic, I really, I really just took time out of my day after every day to just come talk to her after school about my mental health. And it really was just something that helped pick me up. Um, and I also just, even though each of us are nominated today from our respective schools, I just wanna thank 
or just I just want to give recognition to every single person that attends each of these schools. I mean, I really couldn't have done it without all of my peers around me that surround me. I feel like the environment that I grew up or the environment that I attend or the environment at Great Oak, I apologize. The environment at Great Oak is really just just endorses learning in general and my friends just pick me up every single day. I know after class every day, I just FaceTime people and it just really helps me because I just need that social interaction to help keep me going and understand some people need that as well. And it's just something that all of us can't go without. And it's something that I realized was very underappreciated uh, as of right now, because it's just really hard to get by without that human interaction. And so thank you again to everybody. Thank you, especially to the Temecula Chamber of Commerce and the sponsors for just recognizing our students today and uh, uh, hand it over to Mrs. Claybaugh. Okay, well, I just might be the first teacher to cry. I'm just gonna let it go. I went and grabbed my tissue, okay? Because um, as Evan stated, he said that he was very nervous and I know Evan really well. Um, I know that uh, speaking in front of people, even with these little Brady Bunch pictures, um, is super nerve wracking for him. Um, in fact, uh, he sat in the back of the class during ninth grade, very quiet, did his work, diligent, etc. And I'm like, no, that's not happening his sophomore year. You're getting to the front. And the funny thing is, is that it was such a wonderful move for him because he became this jovial, happy, well, let's just get real. He actually laughed at my math jokes, okay? So that's really why I'm here, is because I would say something under my breath and he would chuckle. And to hear him laugh, to see his smile, like I really just was tearing up because he asked me, hey, Claybaugh, can you um, come to this, you know? And I'm like, well, of course, I was one of the ones that nominated you, like, what are you talking about? Um, but in his email to me, he said, you know, I really just don't feel with the current condition. I just don't feel like I deserve it. And this is where I'm tearing up because I'm sorry, you guys. I just knew this was going to happen, especially with Amy Ricken and her little introduction, heartfelt. He just, when, when a student that I know and adore, and I'm sure that's the same for you guys, but says that they don't deserve it because of these trying times, like all he can think about is other people not even how wonderful he is. That just breaks my heart because, I mean, you know, spirit, scholarship. I think the only letter in the alphabet he really knows is A or A plus, but like, you know, passion, like his tennis, like there was one time where he and his dad were walking away from tennis practice. I think this was between his, I think it was his 10th grade year. And I took a video of them walking away because they walked the same way. And it was just like, and he, he doesn't believe that I did it. So I showed him the video. He was like, oh my gosh, that's from like two years ago. I said, yes, because you and your dad is like, you know, ruling with an iron fist. It was, this kid is amazing. He is just, and for him to say that at this time, he didn't feel like he deserved it. It just like broke my heart. And so I just want you guys, all those students out there, we are hurting just as much as you are. We adore you. Um, we honor you and we can't wait to high five you and put that graduation uh, diploma in your hand. Like that's the most exciting thing for us. But Evan, I mean, what more can I say? Like you, we, it wasn't, I don't think I ever taught you. I think that we were problem solving together and you just enjoyed it. So this is for you and I want you to know that you do deserve it and I know you picked me because you knew this is the reaction that you would get huh so thank you for coming by every single day and saying hello with Nathan and I know that your peers do rely on you exactly like Miss Rickon said um so keep the grit up keep the faith and Claybaugh out Thank you, Mrs. Claybaugh. You really did make me tear up there. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I believe it's my father's turn to speak about me. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Ming, and uh, uh, I think it's a great privilege for me to be here to meet everybody. And uh, you know, and congratulations to all the students who got uh, recognized. And um, well, I know Evan really well, <laughs> and over the years, and uh, I witnessed how he grew. You know, 
physically, academically, and uh, athletically, you know, from a little shy boy to a, a bright, a mature young man. And he's a self-starter. And, uh, and, you know, thank you so much for uh, Temecula School District, uh, Great Oak High School and uh, Chamber of Commerce for, you know, uh, recognizing his efforts. You know, he's a uh, well-rounded student and, uh, you know, he's also a saxophone player and a tennis player. So before the pandemic, you know, he, he, he's a member of the uh, Temecula Youth uh, Band and uh, they went, went out to the communities and to the restaurant, to local festivals and uh, to the senior living communities give performance, you know, to cheer people up. And uh, that's, and they practice every week, you know, they spend a lot of time there. And, uh, you know, and besides that, and he was also uh, in the tutoring program at the Temecula uh, Library and after school and uh, to help other kids you know, to get better and academically. So he's done a lot and uh, I'm so proud of him. And, um, uh, uh, but, uh, you know, and uh, he couldn't have achieved all this without the help from this wonderful teachers, uh, administrators and counselors, and staff, you know, his tennis coach and all this uh, peers and his friends around him. You know, and uh, I truly believe and uh, Temecula has the best public school system in the whole Riverside County. That's why we choose Temecula as our home. And actually, and my daughter, and uh, she was also a graduate from Shepherd High School in 2009. And uh, she had great time here. And, uh, you know, and uh, uh, with the proper guidance and all this education our kids received from Temecula uh, School District, you know, uh, this will help them and uh, to grow and become good and responsible citizens and uh, and to give positive impact to the society. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Dad. He said everything I couldn't say. Congratulations, Evan. And now we'd like to introduce Chaparral's principal, uh, Tina Miller. In comparable well, classy, let me come up with some trans... Trans transition uh, phrases. Amazing <laughs> text buddy at 10.30 p.m. last night. Thank yes, you, yes. <laughs> Thank you for taking my text, Mrs. Rickin, last night. <laughs> Anyways, good morning. Um, thank you again for offering this wonderful program and continuing to offer this program for our students, even, um, we, even though we are not together in a school setting, we're here in spirit, and um, it's just great to see all the students recognized and hear about their wonderful talent and character and the heart that they bring on their campus every day. Uh, today, I would like to recognize our amazing student at Chaparral High School, Allison Para. And she, it looks like she's here today with her mom over there on her side. And Allison is in our AVID program at Chaparral High School, and she, she does meet all the requirements as far as her grade point average. She has over 4.0 grade point average. She's involved in leadership as far as she's a peer leader on our campus and a role model for all of our students. She's also an officer for our Chicano Unidos Club. And I think what stands out about Allison is not just all her involvement in the clubs, and her participation, but really her pride that she has in her heritage and her culture. And I think she exudes that in all the things she does and all her aspirations and goals that she sets. Um, she's very determined and she values learning through experiences and not just positive experiences, but also learning from negative experiences. So I think I could say she's always trying to think of all the perspectives into things and experiences and then tries to take the best out of that and see what she what she learned from that. Um, for, she's the first in her family to attend college and I can tell that her parents are very supportive of her along the way. Um, she, she has a passion for environmental science and I think that's just because she wants to make the world a better place for future generations. And so I can't wait to see, Allison, what you do in the future with all your dreams and aspirations while incorporating your culture and your heritage and all that. So we're very proud of having you on campus and you're a wonderful role model to all our Chaparral students and our staff. <clears throat> Thank you, Ms. Miller. Hi, everyone. Um, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna cry, it's fine. Um, I'm Allison Para. I'm here with my mom, Julia Reyna, and my father's on too, Luis. Um, 
and I'm here with my AVID teacher, Mr. Morell. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has made this possible, even throughout these hard circumstances. I'm super glad that um, we still get to recognize the students of the month. I'm so thankful for Mr. Morell. He's truly, well, a bunch of us call him or think of him as a dad. He's our dad at school. He truly cares for us and wants the best for us. I'm also thankful for all my teachers who have helped me get to this point and taught me many important things. I would also like to thank my parents. They are the people who have made me who I am. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they are immigrants from Colombia and I'm super proud to be the first one to go to college in my family. <laughs> I am <clears throat> um, I'm super proud to have gone to Chaparral and been involved in so many things, clubs, sports, um, AVID, just a bunch of different things. It's been really fun. The most important life lesson I will take with me to college is to enjoy the journey. Starting high school, I wanted everything to be perfect and thought all that mattered were my grades because I wanted to get into a good college, whatever that means. Freshman year was good, and then sophomore year hit me like a truck. It was a year of learning about myself and what I actually needed to value in life. It was the first time that I really struggled academically. I was so focused on the end goal, or what I thought was the end goal, of going to a good college. I realized that college is just a stop along the way, and that I need to have fun and enjoy other activities. College is not where it ends, it's where it begins. There will be challenges along the way, as well as rejections and successes. I was always taught by my parents to not be afraid to take opportunities and chances, chances because who knows where they can get you. And to not be afraid of getting told no because we can all learn from those experiences. As you can see, I've had a really good support system who have encouraged me along the way. And Mr. Morell, who has taught me this lesson and kept shoving it in my brain these past years. So I'm so excited to start my future journey Thank you and congratulations to all the other students. This is a big accomplishment. We should all be very proud of ourselves. So I think I'm up. Um, real quick, I just, I've been sitting on me since I heard Christian speak. Um, Christian, um, there's some about your authenticity, your rawness, and what you shared about where you're at. And I just wanna say, it's not where you start, it's where it ends. And um, so it's been I, just, a, and that goes for everybody, obviously, but um, Christian, it's just that uh, there's something about your story and your journey, buddy, um, one day at a time, and um, proud to hear a little bit about you today. Um, I have the privilege of teaching AVID. It is, my, in my opinion, probably the best job in a public school setting um, because I get to come alongside and pretend to be a mentor, pretend to be dad, pretend to be whatever they call me, um, and um, and watch them in their journeys. And I get them as freshmen and they leave as seniors and they're different people and, um, and I love it. So AVID, if you're not aware, helps uh, young people who have a desire to, to gain entry into a four-year university directly from high school. And m many of these students like Allison herself are the first in their families. And like Allison shared, there's, there's a, what well, I learned that there's a pressure that some of them carry and put on themselves because of that. And, um, and so it's, it's, a, it's a responsibility, it's a privilege that I, feel to, that I have to be able to come alongside and help, help walk them through that process. Um, traditionally, teachers teach students, and I think we kind of always viewed it that way, but um, as an AVID teacher, I have found that I am the student many times, um, that I'm the one who is learning um, from them. I'm learning about their stories, their dreams, their, who they are, and um, Allison is, she came to me as a sophomore, middle of her sophomore year, and um, it seemed like she was here since freshman year. It's gone by that fast. And she is probably one of the most driven students um, or people just in general that I've known. Um, yes, she says I have to shove things in her brain to remind her because there's more than, than you know, the, the entry to college, but that's because I just care about her and, and her well-being. And, and as adults, I think we've all learned a little bit about um, perspective when we go through life. And so uh, trying to pass some of that on. But it's not her drivenness that, that, is, that is most impressive. It's um, 
it's the why she's driven. She's she wants to make a difference. As Mrs. Miller mentioned, she wants to go into something to do with environmental science. And um, she wants to make her mark and not her mark for her sake, but her mark because she wants to make a difference in people's lives and in the world she lives in. Um, as a peer leader, she's done that. In Chicanos Unidos, she's done that. Um, in our class, she's done that. She, um, for me, she's done that. She's made a difference. She is um, immensely authentic and real. Um, and I mean that also, and she will tell you, Mr. Morell, um, you know, get it together kind of thing. <laughs> so. Uh, but she comes from a place of just genuine, um, I, just, I just want authenticity. She has an authentic passion for learning and growing. Um, I, don't, I don't know, I've met very few students who just seek out, constantly seeking out, listening and asking questions. She, she, um, like she mentioned that her, her parents have instilled in her to not be afraid to take risks. She, she puts herself out there. Um, she's, she's an amazing young lady. Um, I'm a better person. Um, because of her. I'm a better parent because of her. I'm, I learned to listen better. <laughs> um, I'm, uh, and her parents are fantastic. It has been a pleasure to get to know them and, and what they are um, doing and allowing for her and her brother. It's just, it's, um, you can't ask for anything more. Um, Allison, I'm just going to say this so everybody hears it. You are worth it, young lady. You are good enough. Um, and um, that's all you need to know. And so thank you guys. Um, good morning, everybody. My name is Julia. Um, first, I want to thank Mr. Morel for nominating her as uh, well as the, all other teachers who have support her through high school. Thank you, Ms. Miller. Um, I am so proud of Alison. I admire her discipline and commitment. Uh, she's a hard worker. She's a really hard worker. Um, and that hard work is paying off. You will, you will get very far in life and we always be here for, to support her. Thank you. Congratulations again, Allison. Well deserved. And I think I'm, I'm putting this back to Holly Wilson to end end this today and celebrate our students. Yes, thank you us. so much, students. What a blessing! I look forward to talking a little bit about you at the end. Um, Brooke, like it has been said uh, many times, thank you so much that you put in all the effort to continue this incredible program for our students. Um, and to the Chamber of Commerce, thank you that you continue to sponsor and support our students. Um, Temecula is a unique community in that it truly values education and the young people in our community. Um, I, I believe it's rare to find a community that has just the um, level of students that we have. There's even out in public, they're so respectful. They're just really a wonderful uh, representation of what our future has for us. So students, thank you for being highlights of those of your community of students here. So first, I want to thank the sponsors for our scholarships. Um, this is awkward. I'm just gonna address the elephant in the room. Zoom is uncomfortable, it's unusual. Um, we all get to be a Brady Bunch person for, I don't know, 10 minutes. And so what we're gonna do is sponsors, if you're here, I have you on multiple screens so I I don't know if you're here or not. So when I say your name, if you'll unmute your microphone and just say hello to everyone so that your little um, square will light up and we can see you. So we'll get through this. So from Abbott, Ray Evans. Ray's usually here. Cam Uli, are you here from Abbott? Ultra Credit Union. Tina Covington, Joshua Smith, are you guys here? The Shea Enterprise, Corner Bakery. K 
Cal State University San Marcos. Elizabeth Erickson, are you here? Elizabeth had to hop off, but she okay. won't. Congratulations. Thank you, Brooke. Um, Davies Financial, Andy Davies. Andy, I think you're here. See students, it's awkward. Don't feel like you are um, alone in this. So DCH Auto Group. I know Al is here. And he's got his camera off and he's muted. All right, he'll come back out and say hi. Eastern Municipal Water District, First Citizens Bank, Gallant Risk and Insurance Services. Holly, um, we have Roxanne. Roxanne, are you here? I think she might be there. She I am is. here, but my mic's not working, I don't think. We can hear you. Yeah, oh, you can hear me. It's, it gave me a pop-up that said your mic's not working. Good morning, everyone. It's always great to hear uh, the students' stories, and I wish you nothing but continued success. Thank you, Roxanne. Gosh Ford. King Law Firm, Attorneys at Law. Rachel, are you here? Les Schwab Temecula. Loma Linda University Medical Center, Catherine Pepe. Medline Foundation. Milgard Windows and Doors, Deborah Johnson. Good morning, congratulations students. Thank you, Deborah. Motion Sports, Dr. Ezon. Mount San Jacinto College, April Wad Wadwell, and Morris Myers. Morris, you're here. Good morning, congratulations. Thank you, April. Pacific Western Bank, Jerry Selway. PKC Kubler. REE -E Mechanical. Rancho California Water District, Rancho Family Medical Group, Riverside County Board of Supervisors, Chuck Washington, Riverside County Superintendent of Schools. That's an RCOE, I believe. There you go, Pete, it's all yeah. you. Good morning, guys. You know, each one of you each and every single one of you students today don't believe there's limits because there aren't. There are no limits to what you can accomplish. So keep, keep the course, keep it up. Um, I checked all the boxes. I'm a, a child of a single parent. I graduated from a continuation high school. I'm a Latino. I mean, uh, I've been pushed by people that uh, love me enough to say, hey, keep going. So you teachers are to be commended for being the extension of the things that are important in this world. Thank you. Thank you, Pete. Rotary Club, any Rotarians out there? Say hello. I'm with Sizzler. the Rotary Club, Holly. <laughs> Thank you, Al. Yeah, yeah so, so am I. Congratulations again. Thank you. Sizzler Restaurant would be Sally and Temecula Valley Toyota. Let's also, give that Holly, um, also um, not mentioned on the list was Southern California Gas Company and Adam Eventov is with us. I know he's having a few mic problems, but he also wants to congratulate the student too. Thank you so much. Let's give all of our scholarship and breakfast sponsors a hand. Thank you for supporting us. All right, we have gift sponsor students. Um, if we were in person, you would see these bags of gifts with certificates and different um, things that have been donated. So each student is gonna receive a gift bag 
full of certificates and items generously donated by our business community. And um, those are going to be delivered to your schools and the schools will get those to you. Am I saying that right, Brooke? Yes? Thank you. So our gift sponsors, um, Abbott, Altura Credit Union, Andrea Conchola from Costco, Carlos Jr. So students, as I'm saying these, you're getting certificates from a lot of these. So you're gonna have um, the opportunity to get a lot of food, gentlemen. So you'll enjoy that. Um, Chick-fil-A, Tara, I know you're here. Yes, I'm, I'm wiping all of my tears away. I, I'm so grateful that nobody has to see me just blubber my way through this whole experience. <laughs> I just love all of you so much and congratulations. Like I said in the chat, you make me want to be a better person and um, just God bless you all and keep up the good work. Thank you teachers and everybody who makes this possible. I am so blessed every time I do this. I, I never think that it can exceed my expectations from the last time and it always does. So thank you everyone. Thank you, Tara. Clear Blue Promotions, Corner Bakery, Bechet Enterprises, CRNR Environmental Services. Good morning, Holly. Uh, good morning, students. My name is Ignacio. Uh, I represent CRNR. A uh, couple of things I want to echo Holly's uh, comment, uh, students. This long list of uh, sponsors and and everyone that's here, uh, we're a little shy in the camera. So, uh, but don't trust me. If you were in the full room, you could see everybody there. And second, uh, students, we just want to congratulate you. You guys do amazing, amazing, amazing work. Uh, you guys have a bright future ahead of you. And on behalf of everybody, congratulations and, and have an amazing rest of the year. Thank you so much, Ignacio. Um, Eastern Municipal Water District, Donut Bar, <laughs> Firehouse Subs, in and out Burger, Jersey Mike Subs, La Masters Fine Jewelry, Loma Linda University Medical Center, Catherine Pepe, McDonald's in Temecula, Nash Dental Care, Nothing But Cakes, the Promenade of Temecula, Rancho California Water District, Richie's Real American Diner, that's Sally's mom and uh, her father's uh, restaurant. So if you go in there, you can tell them thank you. Sizzler's Restaurant, Stat Animal Sanctuary, Temecula Olive Oil Company, Temecula Valley Hospital, Texas Roadhouse, and then with class, uh, Rachel King. Um, students, you're gonna love this. You are given one free college entrance application fee for each student, so students, You'll, you'll see a card in there and you can take advantage of that when you get the bag. I think parents are happier about that than our students. The other thing students that you get to receive are thank you cards and they are from Valley Printing. And students, you get the opportunity to write about 65 thank you cards. And Sally likes to remind you how important it is to write a handwritten thank you card. So students, I know that you're, we um, aren't always um, diligent in making sure that we give thank you cards. So when you write the thank you, make sure your card is correctly positioned face up. 
and you can address the envelope. If you don't know how to address an envelope, make sure you ask. And uh, many, many of our sponsors I know um, keep all of your thank you cards so they do matter and people read them. And one of the attributes of a leader is being grateful and showing our gratitude. So students, make sure you um, take time to show your gratitude to all the sponsors. We have our media sponsors, Mayor Pro Tem, Mary Ann Edwards. I haven't seen Mary Ann, no? Um, CRNR Environmental Services, Ignacio, thank you again. Group One Production, David and Karen LaPointe from LaPointe Management. Temecula Valley Unified School District. I know both Jody McClay and Sandy Hinkson are here. I bet Laura Boss is somewhere. I just want to say thank you, wave. Oh my goodness, yes, thank you so much. What an honor to be here with these students. We're gonna come back to you too. So Jody, you have some time to um, share something with our students. We look forward to that. The Valley Business Journal. All right, we have many dignitary students that are here. You're right, Christian, this is a big deal. And the, we have so many representatives from our city that want to take time to have a brief word. Um, so dignitaries, um, city of Temecula, Marianne. Senator Melissa Melendez, Glenn Miller, are you here? Assemblywoman Marie Waldron, Christy McDougall. Board of Supervisors, Chuck Washington, 3rd District. Riverside County Superintendent of Schools. That would be me. All Representing right. Dr. Judy White. Congrats, you guys. You're the best. Thank you. U.S. Congressman Ken Calvert, Brenda Denstead. Brenda. All right, Temecula Valley Unified School District Superintendent Jody McClay. Oh my goodness, thank you. Uh, what a treat it is to be here again this month. I am absolutely in awe of these students. Um, I think I need to remember to have more Kleenex on hand next month because what shining examples of the hard work of so many teachers and administrators and parents. Um, I know I referenced this last month, but we all know our Valley has some of the best schools in the country. Um, and so to see that you as students have been selected to represent your peers, it's a true testament, not only to your academic excellence, which we heard a lot about today, but even more importantly, your character, your integrity, your community service. Christian, um, what we heard about you helping in your neighborhood made me tear up uh, one of many times this morning because we need more of you um, as, as models for our younger children. That's really what it's all about. And parents, teachers, and administrators, I wanna thank you all for playing such an instrumental role in shaping these young adults. It's hard to imagine. They're only 17 and 18 years old and the articulation and the accomplishments and the dreams and goals, the hard work ethic of these students is truly amazing. Uh, they give us hope for the future. And I want to acknowledge your hard work as the adults uh, in their lives, ensuring that they develop into these remarkable, what I call difference makers. Um, students, I hope also that you especially paid attention during, during what we all know is a crazy year and that you listen closely to some of the things being said about you today. Um, the words and the phrases being used to describe you and your behaviors and your traits are truly uh, astonishing. Some of the ones I heard and I captured a leader, um, inspiring to peers, and, and that is so critical, gracious, thankful, humble, real. Um, I heard gifted in so many ways, uh, a great attitude, an influencer, a giver, 
um, passionate. Um, and like both Mrs. Claybaugh and Mr. Morrell said so beautifully, I think this is critical. You teach us, and many people don't realize that, that as educators, when we work with students of this caliber, it's truly a reciprocal relationship. We get and we learn as much from you as you do from us. And, and sometimes I think we learn even more. So we carry students like you in our hearts forever. And I think you, you saw that and you heard that from your teachers that you have touched them and your administrators in very deep and special ways. So um, out of, out of um, respect for the time today, I'll close with just to hear of your future goals is also incredibly humbling. Um, and as Mr. Rubio referenced early in our meeting, when we first started, we would love for you to come back after college and work in our community. We all believe it's a very special place. Um, Riley, we love hiring our graduates when they come back with their teaching credentials. So you'd be surprised how many teachers we have um, who have gone through our system, K-12. They go off to college, they get their credentials, and then they come back and, and give it back in our community. So wherever you all go and whatever uh, you embark on, we have no doubt that you will continue to make a positive difference in this world. We need more people like you. So thank you, congratulations, and remember that you have all of these people here today, as well as many, many more who love you, respect you, and are cheering you on. So congratulations. Thank you, thank you so much. All right, as in any program, it's well run by many volunteers. And so just a quick thank you to um, Brooke again for being the program chair, making sure that we all have everything that we're supposed to have, and especially for running the Zoom. That's a huge relief, thank you for that. Um, Jerry Selway, Kim Garcia, Laura Boss, I don't know that Laura's here. I think she had to jump to another meeting, Holly. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, thank you. She's been busy these days. Yes. <laughs> um, Marsha McDonald, Andrea Conchola, Sue Mai, and Al Rubio, who's serving as a greeter. So um, thank you, all of the volunteers, for making this event wonderful. Students, this isn't it. There's another thing that you have coming up, and that is you have the opportunity now to apply for the student of the year application. So as being a student of the month, you're going to receive probably in April, a student of the year application. And you want to fill that all out, keep all those essays that you've been writing for your college applications, and um, that is ceremony is Friday, May 21st. Lord willing, we'll be in person by then. Wouldn't that be glorious? Um, and the scholarship is anywhere from a thousand or more. And that's made possible, possible by all the generous donors in our community. So, so many people donate to your scholarship. So, Look for that coming out in April. You'll have that scholarship opportunity. So I want to end um, our time together the way Sally does. And that is, first I wanna recognize the students. So Deidre, Deidre, what um, you heard from Mrs. McClay, let me repeat a little bit from what's being said. You're brilliant. You're a blessing, you show love, you're gracious and thankful. Congratulations, Deidre. Thank you so much. Um, David, 20 AP classes, seriously? That's amazing. Um, you support your classmates, you value community, and I love that your teacher said, awesome and amazing. So congratulations, David. Christian, talented, real deal, intelligent, gifted athlete, positive role model, and giving. Congratulations, Christian, on your award. Thank you. Riley. 
a great student. You've been doing this online while everybody else was doing something different. So you've been quite successful in this. You, um, you are reliable, a hard worker, and that you are friendly. Friendly was mentioned many times. So congratulations on this honor. Thank you so much. Evan. Evan, you're an overachiever that you are kind, that you inspire others. And this wasn't said per se, but it was encapsulated in everything that was said about you was that you are grateful and that you have passion. So congratulations, Evan. Thank you. And then Allison, determined, driven, a hard worker, and making your family proud and paving the way for future generations in your family. Congratulations. Thank you. Welcome. You are all role models. There's like Mrs. Ricken said, there's a theme and you are role models and givers and truly someone who makes your communities special. So we are all proud of you. And I wanna end the breakfast, if you will, with a close by Minute with Maxwell. Sally always ends um, with an inspiring word from Maxwell. John Maxwell is a pastor, motivational speaker, and an author. And I've been coming for about 15 years, and the word usually fits our students to a T. And this month is no different. And the word is initiative. You won't leave home without it. Success seems to be connected with action. Successful people keep moving. They make mistakes, but they don't quit. And that's by Conrad Hilton from the Hotel Executive. So this concludes our program. Students, congratulations. Sponsors, teachers, principals, thank you so much. And hope you have a blessed day. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you, Holly. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Holly. Thank you, Brooke. Thank you. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Yeah,